the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Let's see who we've got here today. There's Jake and Sandy, Ashraf and Vanny. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. There's Ken and Pradeep and Sophia and Angela. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And it's true, when you get together with friends, it does make you happy. Although right now, it's not a safe time to be with your friends. And that's why we're doing learning virtually online. Well, today is what you call a typical spring day. There's some rain coming down. So today is a rainy day, but it's gonna help the trees to grow. It's gonna help the grass and the flowers to grow. So we're thankful for the rain, but it is a rainy day. And sometimes rainy days make you feel a little bit sad. You know, we've talked about happy and sad. Sometimes you can feel a little bit sad when it's raining. Some people say when it's raining, it makes them feel blue. Blue is the color of sort of sadness. But the goal is try to get back to a feeling of being happy. Do the things that make you happy. Read a book, listen to music, talk to a friend, do some art, do some homework. Whatever you enjoy that makes you happy. Aboriginal people in Canada. It's a beautiful book about the story of the Métis and the First Nation and the Inui of the far north. And they were the first indig indigenous people, the Aboriginal people, on, in Canada. So each morning, I like to acknowledge this beautiful land we live on. We like to begin by acknowledging that this land that we gather on today, we are hosted on the Mississaugas of the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat. And here in Pepperlaw, where I live, I walk the sacred land of the Chippewa and Ojibwe. We also recognize the enduring presence of all First Nation, Métis, and Inuit people. We always want to be thinking and remembering them. One of the things the Native people love to do is drum. They, drumming to them is really important. The earth is our mother. this beautiful land of ours, Canada. This land is your land. This land is my land. From Bona Vista to Vancouver Island. From the Arctic Circle to the Great Lake Waters. This land sure was. 
such a beautiful land that we live in in Canada. How about you could tap your legs. We're gonna tap, tap all over this land. We're gonna tap, tap all over this land. We're gonna tap, tap all over this land. We're gonna tap all over this land. We're gonna clap, clap all over this land. We're gonna clap, clap all over this land. We're gonna clap. Clap all over this land. We're going to clap all over this land. Stretch your arms out. Let's wake them up this morning. We're going to stretch, stretch all over this land. We're going to stretch, stretch all over this land. We're going to stretch, stretch all over this land. We're going to stretch all over this land. Let's stretch up. We're gonna stretch, stretch all over this land. We're gonna stretch, stretch all over this land. We're gonna stretch, stretch all over this land. We're gonna stretch all over this land. Snap, we're gonna snap, snap. All over this land, we're gonna snap, snap. All over this land, we're gonna snap, snap. All over this land, we're gonna snap. All over this land. Good for you, snapping. We're gonna shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake. Shake, shake your sillies out, wiggle your woggles away. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out, stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out, stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out, wiggle your woggles away. Let's stretch out. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out, stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch your sillies out. Wiggle your woggles away. We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll, roll, roll your sillies out. Roll, roll, roll your sillies out. Roll, roll, roll your sillies out. Wiggle your woggles away. Hooray. There we go. Let's see. I love, as you know, I love to be out on the water in my kayak or maybe a canoe. So let's sing some songs about being out on the water or songs about water. Listen to the water, listen to the water rolling down the river. Listen to the water, listen to the water rolling down the river. Beautiful. I can hear a little bit of rain outside. There's water falling as we speak. Let's sing about rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Sing that with me. Rain, rain, Go away, come again another day. Or let's think about weave, weave, weave me the sunshine out of the falling rain. <clears throat> weave me the hope of a new tomorrow, fill my cup again. Weave, weave, weave me the sunshine out of the falling rain. Weave me the hope of a new tomorrow and fill my cup again. Weave, weave, weave. Beautiful. What's another river song? How about... You're in a rowboat, two hands, 
and you'll get stretching with this one. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Let's go a little bit faster. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Do you want to try it really fast? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. So I was telling you last week, but I'm going to tell you again, that on the west coast of Canada and on the east coast of Canada, there's lots of people's jobs that are out on the water, on the ocean, on the Atlantic Ocean on the east coast. The Pacific coast has the Pacific Ocean and people work. They work out in boats. They're fishermen or crab fishers or lobster fishers. There's lots of people who work out in the oil rigs. And um, this song is all about a man who's finished. That's it. He is finished doing his work out on the water. So he's marching inland from the shore. And over his shoulder, he's carrying an oar, which is the paddle that he uses for his boat. And let's see what happens. I'm marching inland from the shore and over my shoulder I'm carrying an oar. When someone asks me what is that funny thing you've got? Well, I know I'll never go to sea no more, no more. I know I'll never go to sea once more. C, S-E-A, is not the same as C, I see out of my eyes. C is a name for the ocean. So let's try that again. I'll slow it down so you can sing some of it with me. I'm marching inland from the shore. Over my shoulder, I'm carrying an oar. When someone asks me, what is that funny thing you've got? I know I'll never go to sea no more, no more. I know I'll never go to sea no more. That's it. He's finished paddling. But I like to keep paddling. Let's pretend you're paddling in a canoe. I'm on the river of my life. So I paddle slow, but paddle strong. And as the waves go rolling by, I, I see a little more of me. When the waves are going by in the water, you can really understand yourself more. A sailor went to sea. He went out to water in the ocean. A sailor went to sea, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. And all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, sea, sea. He saw the ocean. I'm going to try that again a little bit faster. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. And all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see, the bottom of the ocean. In the month of June, we're going to be studying all about oceans. We're going to look at some of the animals, the beautiful fish and sharks, whales, octopus, all the different life in the ocean. Let's do some of the songs from our song sheet. All I really need is a song in my heart, food in my belly, and love in my family. 
All I really need is a song in my heart and love in my family. Beautiful. And right now your family are helping to take care of you, helping to keep you safe so that you don't get the virus right now. But talking about love, another beautiful song about love is One love, one heart, let's get together and feel all right. One love, one heart, let's get together and Feel all right. Sing that with me. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. One love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. Let's do it. Let's get together in life. That means let's all come together in a way where we really treat each other with kindness and respect and love. How about it's a little bit up? It's a little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up and a little bit down. A little bit up and a little bit down, and that's what makes the world go round. Let's do it a little bit faster. It's a little bit up and a little bit down, a little bit up and a little bit down, a little bit up and a little bit down, and that's what makes the world go round. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Good for you, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! That's how we like to be in our class. We like to try to maintain some happiness. Oh, look. Here's a whole body. This is a whole body of a person. Let's sing. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. I'm so glad. Every little cell in my body is happy and well. I'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well. That's what we want for you students right now. We want you to be happy and well. Eat healthy food. Drink lots of water from your own water canister. Not from buying bottled water. We're trying to cut down on all that garbage from plastic bottles. 
So every little cell in your body is happy. Let's sing our Pizza Hut song. A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Shall we try just a little bit faster? Here we go. A uh, Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Now, let's slow it down. A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut, McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut, McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. Those are some of the fun stores or restaurants you like to go to. Right now you can't go in the restaurant, but you can order some food to take out or pick it up at the curb and take it home and have it as a treat. Let's see. Oh about Old McDonald's Farm. We haven't sung that in a long time. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O, with a bok bok here, bok bok there, here a bok, there a bok, everywhere a bok bok. Old McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm, he had a dog. You're right, dog. E-I-E-I-O, with a ar, ar here, ar, ar there, here an ar, there an ar, everywhere an ar, ar. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm, he had a cow. E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-boo here, a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay-nay here, nay-nay there, here a nay, there a nay, Everywhere a nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Today, we're going to be talking about time. Time on the clock. And I want to show you this book I have. Oops, here we go. It's about time. The book is about time, and here's a beautiful clock that we're going to switch the hands to when we read the story. But I was thinking one of the songs that I know about a clock is Hickory Dickory Dock, Tick Tock. A mouse ran up the clock, Tick Tock. The clock struck twelve, the mouse ran down, not the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock, tick tock. Let's try that again because I mixed up the number. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, the mouse ran up the clock, tick tock. The clock 
struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock. Thank you, friends. I think I'm ready to do my breathing now, but let's first sing. All things on earth shall pass under the sky. But music alone shall live. Music alone shall live. Music alone shall live and never die. It's true. Music is such a wonderful thing. You can sing. You can hum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some people can whistle really well. Or humming or chanting. Mm -hmm. Or listening to music. Or dancing to music. These are all things you can do at your house. Music should be a part of every day while you're at home. So I want to talk to you a little bit about this book that I have. I've been telling you that in one day, as the earth moves in one day, there, there are 24 hours in one day. Help me read that. There are 24 hours in one day. There's daytime and nighttime. And of course, at nighttime, you're asleep. But in the daytime, that's when all the activity happens. So you have a full day, one day of doing activities. And let's see what happens in my story. Tell the time with clickety clock. Let's see what happens in this book. It says, move the hands. So these two parts of a clock are called the hands. This is an analog clock. And the ones that you see on a cell phone or on an electric clock, <clears throat> that's a digital clock. But this is an analog clock. It says to move the hands, which are these two arrows, on clickety clock, to the tell the time for Annie and Jack. The big hand tells you the minutes. The little hand points to the hours. So let's see what happens. This is what happens in a day. Rise and shine. Wake up, Annie. Wake up, Jack. Stretch your arms and wiggle your toes and get up and make your bed. It takes about one minute to make your bed. So she wakes up at seven o'clock. I'm gonna point the hour to seven, and at 12, that's seven o'clock, she wakes up. And her dog wakes up, and then she makes her bed. Well, then she gets busy. She eats her breakfast. She brushes her teeth. Maybe she has a shower, or maybe she had a shower the night before. By about 8 o'clock, or 8.30, I'm going to switch this big one, clickety clock. By about 8.30, she waves goodbye to her family and she's waiting for the school bus to take her to school. That happens at about 
Oh, look. When she's at school, she gets to go out in the yard. It looks like she's playing hide and seek with her friends. And at about 1130, she has lunch and then she goes outside with her friends. So I'm going to move the clock to 11 for the little hand. Here we go, 11, 30, 11, 30. She has her lunch and she goes outside with her friends. Now, she spent one whole day at school. Now it's about three o'clock. So she's going home from school at about three o'clock. So I'm gonna move the big hand to 12 for the minutes and the little hand points to three. Three o'clock she goes home. She's been at school all day. Then at home, she eats her dinner with her family. She does her homework. She does some printing and some math, some numbers. And then around seven o'clock, she has her bath. Now, most of you are people who have showers because you're in high school now. So you have a shower. So somewhere around 7 p.m., she has her shower or her bath. Then she puts on her pajamas and she likes to spend about one hour reading a book. She loves to look at a book. And then she's ready for bed. And at about nine o'clock, I'm going to move the little hand to nine o'clock. Then she's ready for bed. These are some of the things you might see in a house. A clock, 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 or a watch. However, now... People use their cell phones to tell the time, or they have a digital clock, which is on their um, alarm clock. In our classroom at Georges Vanier, we have an analog clock on the wall that tells us what time it is, just like these clocks, an analog clock. But now I want to talk a little bit about what that time looks like. So I'm going to show you some pictures I have. What does one minute look like? Well, in one minute, you could probably brush your teeth. Brush your teeth in one minute. You could probably make your bed in one minute. You can probably get dressed and put your clothes on in maybe one minute, two minutes, maybe even three minutes. These are things you can do all within about a minute. You can wash your hands. If you consider turning on the tap, using the soap, wash, wash, wash your hands and dry them. It takes about one minute. 30 minutes is exercising every day. You should exercise for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes is about the time it takes for you to help your family cook a meal. Let's look at some more. Brushing your hair that takes about two minutes. 
eating your dinner or eating a meal takes about 30 minutes. And going in the shower or the bath, I say a shower should take about five minutes. So those are quick things that you can do. In a minute, you can brush your teeth, wash your hands, make your bed, get dressed. But then we have one hour which is equal to 60 minutes on the clock. This is what you can do in one hour. It usually takes one hour to do a job at your house, like folding the laundry, or maybe doing two jobs, the vacuuming and the laundry and the dishes. Going to the park we usually go for about one hour. Having a dance at school, we usually have a dance in our classroom for about one hour. Going to swim class is for one hour, 60 minutes. Going for a walk usually is about one hour. Going to get the groceries at the grocery store, that sometimes takes two hours. It takes longer because there's lots of steps and work to do. And reading a book. I would love you to read a book for one hour every day. That should be one hour of your day. You should be reading a book. Now, you come to school each day, so we call that a day. One whole day in the daylight. A wedding, for example, the bride and the groom, that's usually about a day long. The wedding and the ceremony and the reception and the party and the meal, it's usually about a day. If you go to Canada's Wonderland, or when we go on field trips as a class, go to the zoo, go to Ripley's Aquarium, that's one day. If you go to the beach with your family or go for a picnic, usually that activity takes about one day because you plan it and you go and you spend a day at the beach and you take a picnic and this picture is students at school together because five days out of seven, five days a week, we go to school for a day. So that's what one day looks like. And then there's activities that are about one week long. One week is seven days. So sometimes, if you're going on a plane on a trip, you often go on a trip for one or more weeks. You usually go for a longer time, one week, two weeks, three weeks on a trip. Or if you go to summer camp or go camping, you often go to summer camp for one week or two weeks you go camping. That's something you do for a week. Let's look at some of these things again. I was just talking about one week. Well, one week has seven days. There are seven days in one week. Let's read them together. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, good, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, 
There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Let's try it again. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Read this with me. Today is good for you. Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. And usually we do cooking on Wednesday. However, we're not at school together. But I think tomorrow... I will go down in my kitchen and I will show you some things in my kitchen that have to do with cooking. Yesterday was Monday, Monday. And Monday is the first day of the weekday. So today is Tuesday. The month is April and the number is 27. But I want to go back to the month of April. There are 12 months of the year. Help me read them. January, February, March, April. Right now we're in April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And I just mentioned that today, we're going all the way up to number 27. And you can see that our calendar is almost full. That means April is almost finished. And then it will be May. It will be a different month. So let's count all the way to 27. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Good for you. That's a lot of counting. Let's count backwards from 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! Now let's try counting backwards from 20. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! The numbers rumba. Let's do the numbers rumba. Let's do the numbers rumba. Let's do the numbers rumba. Numbers, numbers all day long. Five. Five fingers on one hand. Number five. If you put two hands together, you have ten. 
10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the cool thing about having hands and fingers because we can use our fingers to help us count. It helps us count to 10 or we can count backwards. 10, oh, 9, take away one more, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. They're so cool to be able to count with your fingers. One little, two little, three little fingers, four little, five little, six little fingers, seven little, eight little, nine little fingers, ten little fingers on my hands. It's great for counting when you're doing math at home when you're counting or when you're adding or subtracting it's great to use your fingers let me get my breathing chart well I can't find it right now so I'm going to create a square breathe it in and hold it Breathe it in, hold it, hold it, hold it, and blow it out. Breathe it in, hold it, hold it, hold it, and blow it out. That's great. It's great when you can calm down just by taking some deep breaths. show you my sensory box for today. I like the sound of it. I have two surprises in here. Something that is soft and something that is hard. Oh look, I've got this cute little soft, well-colored, fluffy, soft character. It's a soft ball that you can squish, squish, squish. Find something in your house, like a soft stuffed animal, and just practice squishing, 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 squishing. It will help the muscles in your hands get stronger. So this one is soft. And now I'm gonna show you something hard. It's money, coins, lots and lots of coins. Now, the fun thing about coins is you can just have fun playing with them, holding them in your hands, feeling them, feel the, hand, the coins or slide them in your hand. You can feel that they're hard, they're hard. Then the fun thing is you can sort them. I hope you have an egg carton now that you've collected at your house. You can sort a dozen, 12 of them. 12 makes a dozen. So let's sort coins. One. Let me put some in my hand first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Counting to 12 so that you know how to put 12 eggs in an egg carton, 12 buns in a bag, 12 bagels in a bag, 12 pop, come in a case of pop. 
The other thing about this fun money, and we do this at school when we work, is we sort the money. And first I want to show you our money chart. Here we go. We have a toonie worth two dollars, a loony with a loon on it is one dollar, a quarter is 25 cents, a dime with the boat, the blue nose boat, is 10 cents, and our nickel with the beaver on it is worth five cents. Now most of these coins, like a nickel, a dime, a quarter, you can't really use them too much to buy anything. But if you have a loony, or mainly if you have a toony, then you can buy something, especially at the dollar store. With a loony, or a couple of loonies, or a toony, you can go shopping at the dollar store because items at the dollar store cost about one dollar or a little bit more, maybe one or two dollars. With one dollar or a toonie, you can get a donut, a hot chocolate, an ice cream cone, a pop, a chocolate bar, or a bag of chips. So that's what you can get for your money. But right now, this chart helps me because it's for sorting my sensory box. Remember, I've got coins in my box. Here I've got a toonie. So I'm going to match and put it with my toonie. Another toonie. I'm sorting them together. A dime. I'm putting it with the dimes. Another dime. This one has a caribou on it. It's a quarter worth 25 cents. A beaver is a nickel. And you can sort, sort, sort your money. Here's a loony. And all the coins that you have, you can practice sorting them, putting all the toonies together, the loonies, the quarters, the dimes, and the nickels. These are things you can be doing at your house with the things that you have at your house. You don't have to buy anything for this. So that's some sorting and some counting. You can count them as you put them into the egg carton. Good for you. Now, these are two homework sheets that I sent home for you. And every day, I want you to be practice, 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 practice cutting. So cut, 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 cut your pictures. I cut on the line, cut, I cut, cut, cut every day some cutting, every day some cutting. It's a good activity to strengthen your hand muscles. So this homework, don't forget to put your name on, then you have one two, three, four squares. And you have to put the story in sequence or in the order. And the story is about brushing your teeth. I see the girl. She's brushing her teeth. This picture, she's going into the washroom to brush her teeth. 
She's finished brushing her teeth and she's got a beautiful smile. And in this picture, she puts her toothpaste on her toothbrush. So you have to look at your four pictures and think, what happened first? Did she go into the bathroom first? Or did she put the toothpaste on first? You're right. First, she had to walk, walk, walk into the bathroom. I've got a piece of tape here. So I'm going to tape it on my number one. She walks into the bathroom. Then, does she put on the toothpaste? Or does she brush her teeth? Well, you can't brush your teeth until you've put the toothpaste on. So this is number two. Let's put that on the chart. This is sequencing. This means what order do these pictures go in? First, she goes in the bathroom. She puts on the toothpaste and then she brushes her teeth. Good for you, that's the order. She brushes her teeth. And then, voila, she has a beautiful smile and clean teeth. So you have two stories to do for your homework tonight or today. One is brushing your teeth. And your other story is making a sandwich. This is going to be fun too. Making a sandwich. Going to the fridge and getting what you need for the sandwich. Here's a picture of opening the door of the fridge. Making the sandwich. And eating the sandwich. These are the steps. First you open the fridge. Then you get the food from the fridge, you make the sandwich, and then you eat the sandwich. So I want to see you do that for your homework, okay? Now the next thing I'd like to show you is a task that I think all of you can be doing at your house. Hanging up some clothes. Most of our clothes can go in drawers and or in a cupboard. That's cool. But sometimes we like to hang up our clothes, especially coats. Sometimes pants. We like to hang up pants. Every family is different. So one of the things I want you to be working on at your house is hanging clothes on a hanger. You hold up the hanger and you hold up the clothing, or if you have trouble holding up the clothes, you can put them on a table. Put the clothing on a table and guide the hanger one side, guide it through the other side, and then hang it up. Let's try that again with the next one. I've got a red shirt. I hold it up, feed the hanger in one side and in the other side and hang it up in your closet. Here's an orange shirt. Orange, you glad I said <laughs> orange shirt. So let's start by feeding or putting the hanger in to the sleeve, in to the sleeve to hang it up. Like I said, if you want, if it's easier, you can put it down on a table and feed the hanger or put the hanger. You go through the neck of the shirt, put the hanger in the hole of the neck, in and in and hang it up.
So today I want you to practice hanging shirts or hanging coats, anything you have that you can practice hanging. I want you to hang five pieces of clothing, a coat, a shirt, something that you want to hang up on a hanger, okay? I want you to be doing the jobs at your house. Let's go over our job chart again. <clears throat> These are jobs that I know you can do at your house. Help with the recycling or put the recycling outside or take it to the recycling bin at your apartment building. You can help dust wiping counters or dusting the furniture. You can definitely help make your bed. You can put toys or books away on shelves. You can set the table for dinner, put out the plate or the cup or the cutlery. You can also sort the cutlery. Spoons, forks and knives can be sorted. You can roll the cutlery in a napkin, or you can practice folding napkins. I really want you to learn how to change the toilet paper. When it runs out like this, you have the toilet paper roll that's empty. I want you to learn how to put the new toilet paper on. And with this paper towel or toilet paper roll, you can practice wrapping elastics around the roll. Here's some more jobs that you can do. Wipe the counter, clean the sink, do the laundry, fold the laundry or hang it up, clean the toilet. I want, some of you have a dishwasher you can practice putting things in or out of the dishwasher. You can sweep or vacuum, putting the laundry in and out of the laundry machine. These are things that I know you can do. And here's another fun one you can do at your house. You can practice opening and closing different lids. This one is a small lid. So I practice twirling, twirling, opening, take it off, and practice putting it on, on, on. Then you can go to, oh, here's an even smaller one. Practice turning, 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 take it off, put it on, turn it, turn it, turn it to make it tight. practice with a jar. Put your whole hand on and turn it, turn it, turn it, and then put it back on. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Good for you. So you at your house with your parents, you can practice opening and closing jars. And that's a really good activity for you. So now I'm ready to do some painting. I've got my palette. A palette is what you use to paint on. I've got this white sheet of paper that is my palette today. And today I was inspired by a great artist named Kandinsky. And Kandinsky loves to make circles in his paintings. So today I'm going to create a Kandinsky painting making circles to represent flowers because as I've been telling you, it's spring right now. So we want flowers to represent spring. So I'm gonna start by making a circle I think I'm going to make one over here also and maybe a third one over here. 
Here's my some of my circles just to get started. Then I'm take I'm going to take another paintbrush, oh maybe orange. And I'm going to paint around, around, around. I'm going around my first circle. Around my circle. And I'm going to go around again, around, around my circle. And a little bit more orange. Around, around, around my circle. Now I'm going to try a blue. And I'm going to go around around, around my circle. All my life's a circle, sunrise and sundown. And I made a circle flower. The moon rose through the night time as the daybreak comes around. All my life's a circle, but I can't tell you why. The season's spinning round again. The years keep rolling by. Now I'm ready to make some more flowers, but this time I'm going to I'm going to use this blue as the center of my circle. here and another one over here maybe one down here and I need a bigger brush this time this time I want to make pink pink I'm gonna go round the blue with pink a pink circle a pink circle oh there we go around circles. Kandinsky loved, loved painting circles. Loved, loved painting circles going around and around and around. There we go. Now, let me get another color. How about, um, how about yellow? Now I'm going to go around the pink with yellow. Around, 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 around. Oh, look at me go circle around the flower. I'm going to do that again with the yellow. Around, around, around my Kandinsky painting. Here I go again, around, around, around my painting. And one more for my finale, final, finale meaning the end, the finale, the ending, the final. I go around with my yellow, there we go. And now I've got some Kandinsky flowers. And I kind of want to make one more. I think I'm going to make one in the middle here. And one more down here. I'm just going to add a couple more. Maybe some pink. Go around. I'm going around my pink with my pink, around the flower, around and around and around, making circles. Then I'm going to get some turquoise. Oh, there we go. Around, around. I'm going to try it again down here. Around. Awesome. There we go. Now I've got a whole page 
of Kandinsky circles. And the last part of this Kandinsky inspired painting is to add some green, green for the stems. And I just wanna make the stems go straight down. I don't want them to bend too much for this art. I just wanna make them straight. go. A straight line. So I've got circles and I've got straight, straight, straight lines for this. Here's some more green. A straight line down for a green stem. we go. And that's a modern painting of a flower, a Kandinsky. Now, of course, I've got all this beautiful paint that I haven't finished using, and I don't want to waste it. So I've got my paintbrush here, got a couple of paintbrushes, and I've got some newspaper. I'm going to paint the newspaper and then tomorrow we can make flowers with it. Wednesday I can make flowers. So let me get some paint out. Here's some pink. I'm going to paint my newspaper. Paint, paint, paint my paper. Paint, paint, Paint my newspaper, paint, paint, paint my newspaper. Then I'll make a flower tomorrow. Now I'm going to use some blue. This beautiful blue color. I'm going to paint my paper blue. Paint my paper blue. Paint, and I'm going to use up all my paint on this newspaper so that I don't waste the paint. And then tomorrow, Wednesday, you'll see I'll make some flowers with that. Take a sip of your water, my friends. It's always healthy to have that water close by. I've got one more story before we say goodbye. This is called The Wonky Donkey. It's kind of a funny story. As I was walking down the road, I saw a donkey. And this is your part. You, every time I get to the donkey, you can say, hee-haw. And he only had three legs. He was a wonky donkey. As I was walking down the road, I saw a donkey. Hee-haw, good for you. He had three legs and one eye. He was a winky wonky donkey. As I was walking down the road, I saw a donkey. Hee haw. He only had three legs, one eye, and he liked to listen to country music. He was a honky-tonky, winky-wonky donkey. <laughs> and he's so cute. As I was walking down the road, I saw a donkey. Hee-haw, good for you. Well, he only had three legs, one eye, 
He liked to listen to country music, and he was very tall and slim. He was a lanky, honky-tonky, winky-wonky donkey. He was a funny-looking donkey. And when I was walking down the road, I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was tall and slim. And, oof, he smelled really bad. He was a stinky, dinky, lanky, winky, wonky. No, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, tonky. Oh, boy. It's easy to get confused. As I was walking down the street, I saw a donkey. Hee-haw, good for you. He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really bad. And that morning, he got up so early, he hadn't had his coffee drink. So he was a, <laughs> a cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Oh, my. <laughs> I was walking down the road, and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw. He only had three legs one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really bad. P.U. That morning he woke up so early he hadn't had any coffee and he was always getting into mischief. Mischief is like doing silly things. He was doing silly things. He was a hanky panky cranky stinky dinky lanky honky tonky winky wonky donkey. Oh boy. And look, he's biting at the laundry on the clothesline. Oh, look it. He's a cute donkey. As I was walking down the road, I saw a donkey. Hee haw, good for you. He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was tall and slim. He smelled really bad. He hadn't had his morning coffee, so he was cranky, and he was always getting to silly mischief. But he was quite good looking with glasses and a nice smile. He was a Spunky, hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. <laughs> that is a crazy donkey. Oh, wow. When I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw, good for you. That's one crazy donkey. Well, thank you for joining me, friends. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so I hope to do some cooking or at least maybe a demonstration from the kitchen so I can show you some things that we cook with and remind you of things that we use at school to cook with. Friends, I will remember you. I'll think of you. I'll play with you. And when another day is through, I'll still be friends with you. Goodbye, friends. Have a great day today.